Today, I'm gonna be making the Epicure Chocolate Velvet Cheesecake. Julia sent this uh, to me from Canada. This is actually uh, made in Canada. Epicure is all about uh, being natural and natural foods and having natural ingredients. Uh, they're kosher, they're gluten-free, um, and I'm, I've um, previously made one of these, but I'll say it again. Uh, this is all natural foods, all natural ingredients. However, the things that I'm going to add to it that you have to add to it are not all natural, unfortunately. You could go that route, but for me, it's easier just to buy things that, that aren't so natural. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, the ingredients just say cane sugar, cocoa, and coffee powder. That's all it says is in this packet. So those three ingredients. Um, my oven is preheating to 325, and I'm gonna show you the things that aren't natural that you have to add to the recipe. Um, you need two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. I already have those open to make my life a little easier. You need four eggs. You need, you can make, uh, there is a recipe on the back to make your own chocolate pie crust. However, I would much rather just go ahead and buy the Nabisco Oreo pie crust. Um, we love this. Kevin has used this for his chocolate peanut butter pie. It's like the best pie crust ever if you're looking for a chocolate pie crust. So we bought one of those. And then you need um, one cup of vanilla yogurt. And we like this Dana Light and Fit Greek yogurt. It's only 80 calories. You need one of these plus um, like half of another one. So this is from another cheesecake that I made. So what you do is you take your two ounces, your two packages of cream cheese and your cheesecake mix and you blend it in your bowl until smooth. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is just put these in my bowl. My oven is heated, as you can hear. And I'm going to open my packet. Mmm, smells really good. And you can see, if you look, you can see the sugar in the head. It looks literally like cocoa powder and sugar. So, I'm gonna move over here. Okay, I've scraped it down several times, and now it's very smooth, as you can see. And I'm gonna add one egg at a time. Okay, I scraped the bowl down again, and I'm going to add in my yogurt while it's not mixing because I don't like fighting with the mixer. It's uh, it's just something I don't like. <laughs> I would rather put it in with it up like this and not get it all over the counter. While this is mixing, I'm going to be opening my Oreo pie crust and getting it ready uh, to pour this into. Okay, it's mixed in. Now you pour it into your Oreo pie crust. And this is going to bake for 40 minutes. And so when it is finished, when it comes out of the oven, I will show it to you. Okay, here's how it looks. It, it was in the oven for 40 minutes. So what you have to do is you have to let it sit here and cool uh, until it gets to be room temperature. And then you cover it and you put it in the refrigerator because you want, you want it to chill before you serve it. So right now we're just gonna let it cool to room temperature. 
Okay, we have the chocolate velvet cheesecake here, and what I did was I used the insert for the pie that it comes with, and uh, we let it cool to room temperature yesterday, and uh, put this over it in the refrigerator, and it has set overnight, and... It also deflated a little bit. It does, <laughs> yes. It's funny how it yes. does that. It looks like a chocolate, oops. I can smell the, uh, the Oreo. That Oreo pie mm, crust. Can. The chocolate. I will get us a piece. <laughs> it looks good. It looks very good. There we go. I did the same thing here. Okay. One for you, one for me. You can taste the coffee. Mm-hmm. But it's not bad. No, it's good. It's, um, the coffee though is for me, it's just a, a little bit weird, a little different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's delicious though. I really like that. It's good and creamy. The flavors are good. The coffee, I wish it was just chocolate without the coffee, but it would taste the same then. Right. Um, I think it's I think it's delicious. It's good. It's not my favorite, but it's good. Mm. I'd eat that. Mm. I will eat that. Um, it is good. For me. What you have to know is that you are buying literally like spices or like your seasoning that goes in your cheesecake. Mm -hmm. So the recipe itself, the bag, the package is just the seasoning and the spices. Right. You are you are providing the crust. You're providing the eggs. The cream cheese. Uh, the cream cheese. Uh, you're you, so yogurt. Right. So I don't know how much these cost. It's good. I'm not saying anything about it. It's it's really, it's really good. good. But if if you're to consider how much you're already spending, how much you have to spend plus in addition to this, then you might be spending too much on this. Uh, you might be able to make the exact same cheesecake yourself because the only things this says it has is can't, is sugar, cocoa, and coffee powder. Well, think sugar's almost nothing. Coffee powder's not going to be that much, and cocoa's not that much. So, honestly, it just depends on how much this costs to see if it's worth it. Yeah, worth if it's like buying, six bucks, then it, I wouldn't do wouldn't it. Be worth no, it. no, I would not pay that much for it. Uh, but if it if it doesn't cost that much, then sure. But I just wouldn't spend a lot on this because you are having to buy so much more. Right. I hope I, hope I yeah, explain that. makes that. sense. And, so, it is, and it is good quality. Yeah, it's good oh, flavors, it's really good flavors. I'm but, just saying, I think you could add those flavors probably just as cheaply, you yeah. know, depending on how much they cost, like I said. So, we really enjoyed this. This mm -hmm. is good. It will be eaten. We appreciate it, Julia, very much because I've never heard of this brand, mm -hmm. Epicure. It might be a brand new thing out there. I don't know. So, but it's really cool. Great idea. And I hope everyone else enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.